The movie begins with a little girl Ruthie. Looking at some photographs on the wall, Ruthie asks her father Ted, who comes by and Ruthie asks if the boys in the pictures are dead. And he replies yes, she tells him that she is sad about that, and he lets her know that he feels the same way too. Later on, Ted speaks with his friend Minty on the phone and asks him if his son has a driver's license. After which Ted goes into the yard to meet his wife Marion. He covers her with more clothing because of the cold and tells her that he plans to put a swimming pool in the yard for Ruthie when she gets older. He then shows her a picture of Minty's son Eddie, who wants a summer job as an assistant writer for him. Marion asks Ted what exactly he will be doing for him, and he tells her that it is just for his experience. Moments later, he tells her that he thinks they should try separating temporarily, and that they will take turns at the house with their other apartment. At Minty's house later that night, Eddie watches the TV, which is showing an interview with Ted. Minty then comes to tell him to pick whatever he can from the way Ted thinks and writes. That same night, Ruth meets Ted in his room to tell him that she had a dream, but she hears a sound in the house that is trying to be quiet. He then carries her to the wall of photographs and tells her the story of when Thomas, one of the boys in the pictures, heard one sound of a mouse. From this, he turns it into a bedtime story for Ruth, and he lays her to sleep. Ruth asks about Marion, and Ted tells her that it is Marion's turn at the other apartment. Later that night, Ted types Ruthie's words with a typewriter. The next day, Marion picks up Eddie from the ferry and asks him to drive them home in her car. When they get to the house, Marion leaves without going inside. When Eddie asked her about this, she says she is not entering tonight. As Eddie walks to the door, he meets Ted and Ted's neighbor who are also just coming back from the games. When the neighbor leaves, Eddie tells Ted that his favorite book of Ted's is The Door in the Floor. Later on, Ted hints at what he should expect while learning from him. He also tells Eddie about the situation in his marriage and that Eddie will have to sometimes work at the other apartment he rented. So, Eddie goes in to unpack and finds the wall of photographs. The next day at the diner, Eddie speaks with Ruthie's nanny Alice, who gives him silent advances and tells him that she used to date a senior when she was in his school. Later that day, Eddie goes to collect squid ink at the request of Ted. Bringing it back to Ted, he offers to help Ted do some housework but Ted tells him to go swimming as it will also help him as a writer. By evening, a woman undresses herself in the living room under the instructions of Ted as he paints on a platter. The next morning, at the other apartment, Eddie resumes work after Marion leaves in her car. Eddie seems attracted to Marion and soon starts to stalk her including secretly following her to the movies. After the movies, Marion sees Eddie eating junk food, and she asks him about his eating habits in Survived. Seeing that he has not been eating well, she invites him to dinner with her at a later time to get something decent to eat. That night, Eddie wanks his banana to a photograph of Marion. He soon gets interrupted by Ted and Ruthie, who come into the room to check a photograph, which Ruthie had named Feet, on the wall so that Ruthie can get some sleep. The next morning, while Eddie waits for Ted at the other apartment, Ted and a woman Vaughn come out of the house, and Ted says she came to discuss some sketches with him over the night. Eddie continues to stalk Marion. One time, while wanking at her undies in the house, Marion comes in unexpectedly but apologizes after she sees what he is doing. Noticing that Eddie is embarrassed, she calls him and tells him that she is flattered that he thinks about her. Meanwhile, Ted continues to meet with Vaughn while he gives Eddie scripts to just read while he waits for Ted to finish with Vaughn. Finally, at the proposed dinner, Marion asks Eddie how work has been for him, and he tells her how uncomfortable it has been. She then reveals to him that Ted hired him just because he needed a driver. She asks him why he's not asked Alice out on a date, and he tells her that she's not his type. Marion opens up to him and says that she thinks it was wrong for them to have had Ruth. She tells Eddie that Ted is a good father, but despite that, it wasn't enough to keep them together. Later at the house, she takes him through the pictures on the wall and tells him they were of their dead sons. The next day at the other house, she shows him some more galleries, and just then, Eddie tells her that he's thinking of sex. She then asks him if he's had sex before. When he says no, she undresses in front of him while he also undresses and then makes love to him. At the main house, Ted reads out a story in front of an audience, with Eddie assisting with the projection. After the reading, Ted is applauded by the audience and meets with a few people before they leave. While Eddie drives them home, Ted appreciates Eddie for being a good friend to Marion because he sees that she's recently been happy. Later, Marion and Eddie continue their lovemaking. One night, Eddie receives an unknown call about someone with an unsteady hand. He then takes a drive to meet Ted cycling and tells Ted that Patrick called to tell him that he needed a ride home. But Ted tells him that he does not need a ride and that he should go home. The next day at the house, Ted is making a sketch of a naked woman named Vaughn who is physically present with him. As Ted sits outside the house, Eddie comes by later on, and Ted asks him to join him to play squash. Just as they leave to play, Eddie sees Vaughn come out of the house. That night, Ruthie walks in on Eddie and Marion having intimate time. Poor Ruthie will never be able to get that image out of her mind. The next morning, while Eddie drives Ted to go make a sketch with Vaughn, Eddie tells him that he does not have any issues with what Ruthie saw the last night but that Eddie should just be prepared to testify for him in the court of law when they are called upon to take child custody. Oh that sneaky Ted just wanted Eddie to work for him so he can get custody of Ruthie. At a later time, after a pleasure session between Eddie and Marion, she tells him that she can't leave Ted because only he understands and knows what happened to her. Later on, 
She explains to Eddie the phases involved in Ted sketching naked kid women. Later that night, Eddie asks her about the accident that happened to her and how it happened, but she goes into shock and does not respond to him. After that, Ruthie requests from Eddie that she want the feet picture frame in her room. The next morning, Ruthie's cry calling out to Marion wakes Eddie up. He rushes out to find that Ruthie has a cut in her finger from the broken glass of the picture frame he put in her room. A while later, Ted tells Eddie that he blames Marion for allowing that to happen to Ruthie even though Eddie tries to put the blame on himself and how she doesn't care anymore. That night, Ruthie screams after having a bad dream and calls out to Marion while her dad unsuccessfully puts her to bed. Marion comes by to put her to sleep. Not happy with this, Ted asks Eddie to take him back to the apartment. Back at the house, Marion and Eddie have some intimacy again, but Marion doesn't seem to be enjoying this particular lovemaking session. The next day, Ted asks Eddie to take some drawings to go and give Vaughn. On arrival, Vaughn is surprised at why Ted is not coming and spills details about her sketches with Ted which Eddie later discloses to Ted. He then tells her that he will go the next Friday and won't spend much time there so that Eddie can come and pick him up. When he discusses this with Marion, she tells him not to pick him up and that he will run back home on foot. In the car on the way to Vaughn's house, Ted tells Eddie that he read his story and feels it is a very personal and an interesting story, and he tells him ways to make his story better. When they get to Vaughn's house, Ted notices the littered compound being cleaned up by Eduardo. Ted tells Eddie that he will not last long with Vaughn, but as soon as Ted gets out of the car, Eddie drives away. Back at home, Marion tells Eddie ways to defend himself against Ted. She also tells him to get associated with Alice so she can also help him take care of Ruthie. She then makes Eddie take Ruthie to the doctor to dress up her stitches, and she asks him to take her to lunch too. Meanwhile after some time, Von pursues Ted away from her house with her SUV while he runs for his dear life. Just as Marion had predicted, he gets away from her by running into the beach, which she could not drive to. After they are done with the stitches, Ruthie asks Eddie that they go to the frame shop to get the repaired broken photograph. Ted runs into his friend Mendelssohn's office to seek refuge and ask for a ride home. Meanwhile, at the frame shop, Eddie gets mad at the shopkeeper over the photograph. Meanwhile, without much persuasion, Mendelssohn offers to take Ted home in his car. At the frame shop, the owner comes out to attend to Eddie and Ruthie. In a bid to shield Ruthie from their communications, Eddie writes in a paper and tells her of his affair with Marion and of Ted's affair with Vaughn telling her that Marion is leaving Ruthie and Ted soon, and that she is taking all the photographs in the house. Eddie then writes to her that he wants Ruthie to have the one in the shop, as it is the only one that will be left for Ruthie to look at. Some ladies introduce themselves to Ted in the store, and they offer to take him home. He obliges and eventually asks them to come to his house to draw them like he always draws Vaughn. When he gets to the house, he sees Marion about to leave in her car. He walks up to her to bid her farewell, and goes back to meet the ladies he brought home. Eddie takes Ruthie to the beach to have lunch, and they return home to Ted waiting for them. Ted asks where Eddie was earlier that morning, and instead of answering him, he gives him the papers he used to communicate with the store owner. Ted is shocked at the number of times Eddie had an affair with Marion, and he later comes in to help Ruthie take her bath. Later that day, he calls in busy and says he is not going to the games. After he drops the call, he walks up to Eddie, slaps him, and asks him where Marion is. Eddie insists that he does not know and then defends himself by hitting Ted with his clenched fist, saying that Marion asked him to do that if he got confronted by him. Ted then tells him that this is another thing to hold against Marion in court so that she does not have custody of Ruthie. But Eddie tells him that Marion does not even desire to have custody of Ruthie, which makes Ted surprised seeing how nonchalant she is towards Ruthie. He then asks Eddie to say all he knows about Marion's motives. Turns out Marion took all the photos of their sons just so Eddie doesn't have any photos of them. Back at the house, Ruthie stresses Alice over the missing pictures and refuses to go to the movies with her. So later that day, in his painting room, Alice tells Ted that she quits as she can't handle Ruthie anymore. That night, Ted tells Eddie about how he used to draw Marion sometimes back before the accident. He shows him some pictures of Marion, and Eddie suggests that he give Ruthie some of these pictures. Later that night, Ted comes into Eddie's room to tell him about the accident that Marion would not tell him. Ted then shares with him details about the accident that caused the deaths of his two sons, and how he could not do anything about it at the moment due to shock. His sons were driving, and due to the snow on the windshield that Ted didn't clean up earlier, his son ended up colliding with another vehicle and both sons died. This is why Marion decided to have a daughter, but the devastation left her empty and unable to care for Ruth. Ted then tells Eddie that he hired him because he looked like one of the sons, so he gave him to Marion intentionally. The next morning, Ted sees a van that looks like Vaughn's and asks Eddie to go check it out. Eddie refuses to, since he has been fired by Ted already. Ted then goes out, only to find out that it is Eduardo. Eduardo tells him that he has been relieved from his work with Vaughn because of him, and asks Ted if he has any work for him. So, Ted puts him in charge of his lawns and asks him to also ask his wife if she is interested in cleaning his house and taking care of Ruth. He then asks Eduardo to take Eddie to the ferry because he is leaving the house. Later that day, Ted plays squash and finally descends into a door in the floor of the squash court. The movie ends this way because it symbolizes Ted descending from the world and going into deep loneliness. What did you guys think of this depressing movie? Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications.
and leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.